Hi, I'm lazy to get up and wear, you know, or film somewhere in the house. So I'm in bed again, but I was out all afternoon. Yes, I was out. I went to this um, mall where a lot of restaurants are, but I went there more for the uh, local department store uh, and then uh, to the supermarket. It's called Food Mart, which I've mentioned already, one of my favorites because they're cheaper also. And all the supermarkets here in Jakarta, they, they have everything, like I've already mentioned repeatedly. It's just a matter of you uh, paying attention, you know. But I just found, uh, you know, it was like a random uh, peanut for cocktail. I don't drink alcohol normally but in Italy I do drink wine at mealtime with my husband my late husband but or with company otherwise I don't drink I've mentioned this already and uh, here I don't drink at all also because the liquor here or the alcohol cost exorbitant exorbitantly so uh you know unless of course you go and meet your your foreigner friends your expat friends uh, they have uh, you know a channel where to buy but i don't need it because i don't entertain like they do so anyway i tried this peanut <coughs> excuse me <coughs> my goodness it's so good the peanuts you know that's one thing that I now decided to try you know things I have to be open and not having a fixed idea of what I want and just pick and then you know buy and go now I just want to try if I see something you know that is looking uh, you know a little bit uh, you know tantalizing I try it I just buy a small portion and I try and like these peanuts I bought for cocktail Oh my god it's quite good very good and then i also realized that drinks like root beer or coca-cola or, or uh, uh, sprite and um swaps i thought swaps are expensive here here so i took a look at it you know, it just felt like drinking some kind of, uh, you know, sparkling drink. Not, of course, uh, wine or uh, Prosecco or champagne. I wanted to just have a have a drink. Okay, I saw root beer. I took root beer, but I tasted already in the, uh, two weeks ago. And this is very good because it's made by A&W. A&W is like a... Uh, the burger chain of Singapore, if I'm not mistaken, because that's how I got to know A and W, and it's really good. But I saw Swaps today, and it's the tonic water. Oh my, tonic water, not tonic, tonic water. Oh my God, it's good. So I really, you know, was satisfied having the peanuts and this tonic water by Swaps, and I haven't had dinner. It's already eleven o'clock. In the night and I haven't had dinner because I'm full <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm satisfied with 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 that this uh, uh, discovery also I bought things for breakfast because the day after tomorrow my guest my BNB guest or bed and breakfast guest are arriving so I bought already the preparation for their breakfast so that's it that's how I spend my day this afternoon not my day but this afternoon and uh, yeah um, you know I'm I'm happy um, another thing is I don't know since yesterday and today I um, receive some kind of contact even if it's not direct contact by one person but whereas the other direct contact but very very friendly like and another contact which I've already included in my previous uh, video but I don't know here I am you know at this age and living by myself 
I don't go out, I don't socialize, and I'm in Indonesia now, back in Indonesia, I'm no longer in Italy. And I get these messages from this man in Italy. I don't understand. I mean, I just want to give you an example. Two men are from the same bank. <laughs> you know, I wish I could articulate or in an eloqu elo eloquent manner, you know, just to share with you the universe, you know, how, how, how it, 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 I don't know, it, works the way it works okay sorry i'm sliding down so um okay these two guys from the bank in milan they've known me or i've known them long 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 time ago because it was the bank where my husband put his account or opened his account which i think i've mentioned already right so anyway um Oh my god, I should make another video perhaps. Hmm, what do you think? Because I started with supermarket. This bank had the boss. They call in Milan uh, manager. So this manager apparently has paid attention to me for one full year unbeknownst to me. <laughs> god, my god, I don't know where to start. Anyway, to cut the long story, Story short. Hmm. One day, my husband and I, we were sitting in one of the, of the, of the, his subordinate, uh, what do you call that? Cabinet, cabinet, what do you call that? room anyway we were sitting there and this boss came to us and he said hello to my husband and he started joining <laughs> oh my god chatting with us okay so anyway so my husband was so friendly and blah 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 okay 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 so that was good and then but in front of everybody like he, he he had his subordinate there which was a woman and then he had another subordinate also another woman which was like a di direct assistant to her if not his secretary and at point blank in front of everyone he asked my husband he said oh could your wife oh my god could your wife teach me english Could your wife teach me English? So, oh my God, you know, so, 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 so. I don't know, I felt already. I felt there was something already, you know. So, so, my husband was so gentleman. Oh, yes, of course, of course, yeah, my wife with, with pride, you know. Oh, yes, she speaks uh, English. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Oh, my donna, my, uh, okay, I speak Italian now. My donna mia, my donna mia means, oh gosh, you know. So, anyway, so my my husband gave him my mobile number. Okay. <laughs> and then I was just watching, you know, the whole action. Not participating, but just a passive onlooker. And as my husband gave him my number, you know, I just, you know, just resigned to the fact that, okay, these two men have already agreed that he will call me with that number that my husband gave to tell when to start teaching English. Ooh, so I said, okay, so when, but now I'm going out of the topic. Actually, I will talk to you, I will tell you that story on another video. But right now, okay, in this bank, apparently there was another man also. It was his like second it was the second manager of the bank anyway now this manager the one that asked for my phone number from my husband he moved to Verona anyway he moved to Verona okay so um while I was in Jakarta so anyway um this other man became the boss of his bank and 
this other man with this new bank that they opened no longer in the same building with the new bank that they opened you know when my husband died I went there to close our account because I moved to another one since my husband already took another bank you know for our main account I wanted to close that account you know so when I went there this manager who was this the second manager from of my of the boss before right I don't know whether you follow me follow the story now because I'm jumping around so anyway so he was the boss and then when I wanted to close the account he told me look it's not it's a pity that you're closing the account you know besides you have still some uh, you know some uh, uh, saldo saldo what do you call that balance you still have balance there and it's a pity if you want to close the account I said oh, so what I don't close he said yeah don't close the account okay don't close don't, don't worry I'll take care of it okay so I leave the account in that bank so in the meantime whatever I need whatever I want it done you know he was always so uh, available uh, to help me that every time I went to the to the to the bank to do something you know he was always there ready to serve me by always you know uh, gesture gesturing gesturing or gesture gesture gesturing me to come to his office because his office is glass so he always say just come over so I've always gone to his office and we would have a nice chat have a good laugh and then he would say come on I'll take you for a coffee because in Milan uh, people take coffee like as if it was a little break that they they do which is very common you know I'm trying to think what do they do how do they do in England in England there's no such thing in Jakarta there is such thing you know uh, but not during their uh, office hours in Milan uh, they can do that in their office hours so he, he would you know once in a while he would say come on let's uh, go out you know let's let's have a espresso you know coffee which means you don't sit down and drink you just stand there and then drink at the bar it was a form of uh, public relation in a way also uh, you know friendliness so once in a while we would have a drink because the bar in Milan bar means a place where you have coffee okay not above to get drunk no it's where you have your uh, fast Italian food for lunch because they don't open in the night so we would have coffee once in a while you know just talk and always friendly or but he, you know being Italian of course he always you know at that time he would say to me you know you know you're you're, you're so you know you're just so beautiful he said to me like that oh I said thank you thank you thank you that was it that was it but I didn't expect that now that I'm in Jakarta for one year you know he 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 writes me nothing nothing romantic well, he, he just writes me Meta how are you Meta how are you doing you know once in a while Meta how are you so like two months ago I asked him for help and he helped me and I've sorted that out and then again you know I'm quiet and then yesterday he wrote to me again you know just Meta how are you that's all please drop me a line things like that okay so that's it so that was one and then another one also in that subtle manner because two years ago he wanted to marry me but he never had a relationship I mean how could you marry me when you only admired me from far one thing about him the advantage that he has is he's not married you know he was married but he's never remarried oh mamma mia and I was just playing a little bit you know because I didn't take him seriously but then he took me so seriously and I got scared first of all you know he became that Italian the, the chauvinistic Italian you know 
I mean, I love alpha male, okay? But he was so alpha male. He was so chauvinistic that, 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 that he was pulling the strings, you know, without even considering me whether I like it or not. And now he's... I, I got, you know, I, I got uh, strong with him by, you know, I just don't want him, don't want him because he was also strong with me because he realized I didn't want him. So he got so a little bit aggressive with me. So to me, I don't want this, you know, I don't need it. You know, I'm fine by myself. I live peacefully. And then, okay, so he's out. I don't want him to do it. Yeah. And then slowly, slowly, I noticed three or four months ago, he's, he what to say, you know, and I don't, you know, I, I'm fine by myself, you know, I mean, of course, if there's the right man for me, yes, I, I take, I take that that is destiny, okay, but with this one, I don't feel right, so anyway, so that's, I'm, I'm just a little bit, you know, um, marvel but at the same time, a little bit flabbergasted, you know, of seeing what's going on. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you. So it's already 18 minutes, 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes. But hey, this is live and I just like to share with you as it is, like I always mention on my video, as it is. And this is life, uh, you know. I, uh, so that's today uh, what my vlogging is about. All right, so, uh, okay, uh, hope you enjoyed your Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to post this video right now. Well, I have to edit a little bit first, okay, because maybe it's too raw. So, okay, uh, thank you for watching, and click that button below, and subscribe <laughs> if you want to hear more of my personal story or, you know, I, that I hope you find fascinating. Okay. Ciao, ciao. See you on Friday. Okay, Friday. See you Friday. Ciao, ciao. You have a nice day.